happiness. There's a big business going on in the name of happiness. Happiness from where to get? Ayurveda's concept is very clear. Ayurveda says that there is no happiness, it's a pain. So when anukula, anukula vedanayam and pratikula vedanayam. One is a, anukula means favorable and pratikula means unfavorable. So if the pain is favorable to you, that is sukha, happiness. And unfavorable is dukha, when things are unfavorable to our mind, to our self. It's sadness. But what is Sukha? Bhagavad Gita given the definition of Sukha. Fifth chapter, 23rd verse. Shaknoti iha yava sodhum. Means sodhum is a word used here which means tolerance. Tolerance capacity. Fundamentally, shaknoti means when you have stamina capacity. Ih eva to Yaha sodhum prak sharira vimokshanat kama krodod bhavam vegam saha yukta saha sukhi naraha. Sukhi means happy. Naraha means person. A person is happy only if one can overcome urge. It's a big, uh, you know, inside there is a outflow. Vega. Vega means speed. Inside, there are two types of Vegas. One is physical and mental. These two Vegas, in that physical Vega, you should never control. If you get physical Vega, throw it out. Eleven physical Vegas are there. And six mental Vegas are there. In them, Bhagavad Gita says two. Ayurveda has given six actually. Now, physical Vegas are, number one, First Vega is passing of the gas slaters. If somebody is getting a pressure to pass gas, whatsoever you are in important meeting or whatever is your situation, body doesn't care if, you know what is the main disease happens because of controlling fart and stopping when you are getting urge to pass a stool and if you control, three symptoms comes. Number one, penis. Penis means running nose. Water starts. Full. Uh, number two, cramps in leg. Pindakod Veshtanam means in the night when you sleep, you have pain in the legs. Number third, headache. These three symptoms, why happen? One, controlled gas because in the business meeting or not gone to toilet when you had urge. Maximum people do this mistake. Third is urine passing. Three diseases happens because of this. Fourth is sperm. If person hormone secretion happened, but controlling it. Fifth is a yawning. Control it in the meetings and all, totally. No, allow it to happen. Never control these Vegas because they are coming from inside to outside. You know, never control them. Then sneezing, Akshi. Then hunger, Shut. If you are hungry, eat something. Say, excuse me, I have to eat. Chanakya says, a person who is shy in matter of hunger can never be happy. Ahare cha, vyohare cha, dhanadhanya prayogeshu, tekte lajjam sukhi bhavet. The one who leaves lajja, shame, becomes happy. Don't be shameful for these. Never. Then next is thirst. When you feel thirsty, must drink. And one more thing. When you feel thirsty, don't eat. And when you feel hungry, don't drink. Many people, what they do when they feel very hungry, but they are in meetings. So they think that they will drink water and problem can be solved. But it becomes worse. You make acid to become many times. And this makes fatty liver. And when you eat, when you have, when you feel thirsty, it creates portal hypertension, uh, enlargement of the liver. These were the physical urges I was talking about. Okay. Now I am going to tell you about mental vegas, mano vega. Mental vega is kama and krodha. So Bhagavad Gita he says, if one can completely control 
दीज टू वेगाज काम क्रोधोद्भवम वेग एनी वेग बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टू सो ढूम मीन्स इफ पर्सन कैन कंप्लीटली कंट्रोल सुक्ता सुखी ना रहा देन पर्सन कैन बी हैप्पी 